Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of rounding and we will learn uh, what rounding really means. That is standard 3.2c in Texas and we'll be using item number 31 off the 2017 star test. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, see if you can solve this problem, and then unpause it and we'll look at our work together. So let me read this problem. It says, the point on the number line represents the amount of money needed to build a garage. And all we have here is just this amount needed right here. And it's on a very, a very bare number line. There's not much there. You just have 4,000 on one side and you've got 5,000 on the other. You've got a midpoint and then you've got the amount needed. And then which statement best describes? So three of the statements are incorrect and one of the statements is correct. So before we get to what this has to do with rounding, let's see if we can just at least name this midpoint right here. And if you're not exactly sure what is uh, in between 4,000 and 5,000, here's something uh, to think about. This 4,000 is 40 and then 100. So 40 with two zeros, because two zeros makes 100. This 5,000 is the same as 50 hundred. We, we could say 50 hundred, but really we say 5,000. So what's in between 40 and 50? Well, most of us get that. It's 4,500 or 4,500. You could say it either way. So 4,000, so it's slightly above 4,500 or 4,500. So let's look at our answers and then we'll look to see what does this have to do with rounding. The amount of money needed is more than 5,000. Well, if it's more than 5,000, it would be over here somewhere. It is not more than 5,000. It is less than 5,000. That would make this sentence correct. Therefore, that's not it. The amount of money needed is less than 4,000. Well, less than 4,000 is over on this side because here's my 4,000. And so that is incorrect. It would be more if we wanted to use that sentence. So really we get down to our rounding here, C and D. And what is our key word for rounding? So when we see about, sometimes you'll see approximate or approximately. That means we don't need the exact answer. We need to get close. And so uh, we'll be learning in fourth grade how to round without a number line necessarily. And there's a trick to it. But all rounding means is that you have a number that is in between two consecutive multiples of 10 or uh, two consecutive multiples of 100, or in this case, we've got two consecutive multiples of 1,000. We've got 4,000 or 5,000. And which one is this closer to? Well, the visual makes it pretty clear. This amount needed, which we don't know what it is, it's closer to the 5,000. The reason why we know it's closer than the 5,000 is because it's above this midpoint. Anything that's in the middle or above moves up. So we're going to say the amount of money is about 5,000 or about 4,000. And if we're still not sure, look what it says, because the point is closer to 5,000 or is the point closer to 4,000? The point is not closer to 4,000. The point is closer to 5,000. So C is our answer. So let's see if we can figure out how rounding works. With a few simple problems, let's take 27. And so really what we're looking at when we're looking at 27 is we are looking to see which two multiples is it between of 10. So it is between 20 and 30. So 27 falls between 20 and 30 if we're looking at a number line here. And then if we have our midpoint, it's always good to know what's our midpoint, 25. Where would 27 fall? Well, 27 would fall right about there, in between the 25 and the 30, which means it would round up to 30 because it is closer to the 30 than the 20. So that's what we're doing when we're looking at rounding. We're finding two consecutive multiples. It could be maybe 300 and 400, and we're looking at 325, and we say, oh, well, 325. The midpoint is 350, it's less than that, so it's going to round down to 300. That's another example. 